I had to go to five freaking pharmacies to find this thing. So sorry if I'm a little annoyed, but the side effects can be really noticeable when you stop it taking it. Well, this album, this, 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 this album right here, what? Do you think that I was going to review quirky maximalist albums all the time just because I like excess? Well, you're wrong. Because excess can run in all sorts of directions. And yes, we are recording at night because screw it. If you decide to make an album that is as sparse and simple instrumentation, why don't you make it as sparse and simple as possible? Stripping down the most instruments until you have left the bare minimum to call a song. <laughs> Leave it in its most primitive state with its bare soul against the wind. <laughs> The Flowers of Romance by Public Image LTD. This record is a good record. I like it. How, how do you make a record like this? How do you make a record that is just mostly drums and vocals? Maybe 5% bass and 2% guitars and some samples here and there. And how do you make it so freaking good? You just have to follow one single trick. You have to make the drum so catchy and sticky that it stays on your head forever when you play it. In a way, it's even worse than when you will listen to a catchy song because the drum beat is so simple that you just can repeat it forever on your head. Oh, and the vocals, the vocals are filled with pure despair and anguish. You know, it's like your most inner fickle self trying to sing along to a nursery rhyme. It's deliciously maddening. So the drums, the drums here are given this huge reverb sound so they fill the whole track. So even if the song is completely barren, you feel full because it fills the whole room. Also, apparently it accidentally created the Phil Collins drums of the 80s arena rock, but to be honest, I haven't really checked Phil, Phil Collins solo stuff at all, so I will have to get back with you later about that, I guess. This is this 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 is this is a good record. I like it, I like it. The deluxe version has two tracks from the B-sides of the original singles. There are dub songs that are dub songs. This album is just a bunch of dub songs without the bass, right? Well, not really, because the rhythm section, the rhythm center is all moved, but with these two songs, you can see where the sound came from. Like, let's play it up and then make a radioactive version of it. Originality is alive. Oh, yeah, I mean, the cover? Yeah, the, the cover the cover is really good as well. I mean, have you seen those covers like Stupid Dream that are just filled with so much visual noise that you just can't even understand what is happening on the photo at all? It's not just me, even the band noticed this because for the re-releases of the album, they made a completely different cover with just one CD. But here's the thing, in this cover, in this artwork, in this image, in this photo, the visual noise works in its favor. The color or the lighting, everything, everything adds up to create such a frantic sensation in you know, a static image, man. It's so good. I like this cover. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I like this cover. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It also sometimes wakes me up at night. Sometimes I think it's haunted. And again, it's so deliciously mad and it's so deliciously mad and what else can you expect? What else can you ask for a record? Oh, that is great. That is good. It's, it's just good. It's so, so good. So good. So good. You know? Shut up. You know, I actually feel a lot better now now that I talked about the music and I listen to the music. Sometimes you just need something that fucks you up, you know? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, uh, for the writing, I guess uh, a candle, candlelight works. Yeah. It's a very, uh, it's a nice record. I liked it. <sighs> Feel much better. But then I think back that this kind of weird shortage thing has been going on since the last year, and it hasn't been officially reported. Uh, next month I will have to deal with searching it all over again. <laughs> Fucking hate You better prepare for the sick, twisted machination of my inner mind. This is my god now, isn't it? I have to pray to it and make a proper tribute so it doesn't leave me in moments of need. It will fill me and will make life make sense. And once I've stopped taking it, if I go past the side effects phase, I will get all sad and empty. Hmm. 
Anyway, friends, I hope that you have a good night. Stay safe.